We are all in this together. It's the team spirit mantra of one of the most beloved franchises in Disney history. Launching the careers of a crop of young stars, including Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens, becoming a millennial phenomenon. High School Musical. The first film would lead to two sequels and 15 years of fans. Now it's back as a fresh new adaptation in a spinoff for Disney+. Plus. Can you just say it for me? You have to take a deep breath. High School Musical, the musical, the series. Excuse me. Is there somewhere you're supposed to be? Broadway. This musical comedy series follows a group of high school students as they put on a performance of, you guessed it, High School Musical. In the old days, teachers would wait two, maybe three days to announce the cast. But when you know, you know. It's called Instincts. The series stars an entirely new cast, filmed at the same Utah high school where the original film was shot. This cast is depicting all new characters. Actors Joshua Bassett, Olivia Rodrigo, Sophia Wiley, and Matt Cornett all navigating the halls of East High. How much did you guys watch the actual high school musical, the original? I grew up watching them, obviously. Um, my first show ever was High School Musical, a, a local theater production. High School Musical is like timeless and it affected so many people of all ages. I remember I had Tori and Gabriella Barbie dolls and like I had a High School Musical tank top. So dude, you know that uh, school musical thing? Growing up, I genuinely felt like Troy because I played basketball and I was in theater. Is he the best? Or is he the best? Look, it's I'm a happy. modern interpretation for a generation who grew up loving the 2006 story of teenagers breaking free from the stresses and stereotypes of high school. We're breaking We're free. Free. First thing people are going to think about is whether all of this music is either brand new or some of the music is actually nostalgia. I'd say we probably do one um, song from the original movies and then one song that's um, completely brand new and was written just for this series. Um, and so that's really great and I'm actually really excited that uh, a new generation of kids uh, is going to have their like high school musical soundtrack. It was a genre that would help to pave the way for Glee and help to break down gendered stereotypes. Football players are winning Dancing with the Stars. I think musicals are no longer gauche or weird. And yet, there is still something, there is like an inherent story that anyone in school has, which is, am I sitting at the right cafeteria table? I remember standing here with my mom the first time, and I was like, is this real? I made it! <laughs> For writer and showrunner Tim Federley, this project is an ode to his early years on Broadway. If I could go back and change the past. It's real singing, no auto-tuning, lots of dancing, and ultimately, I hope it's a half hour escape from what can be a really tough world out there that's ultimately grounded in something that is real about the teenage experience today. The thing about musicals is there's a place at the table for everybody. This show is all about finding your tribe. My name is Miss Jen. He cast his former Broadway comrade Kate Reinders in the pivotal role of drama teacher Miss Jen. Please take your neighbor's hands. I wrote this character of a woman who moves back to Salt Lake City from New York when things don't quite go her way. And lo and behold, Kate Reinders showed up to audition, and she just sort of nailed it. This is a space. Yes. Nice. I'm on TV. <laughs> we met Reinders in Times Square outside the Schubert Theater, the very theater that brought the two of them together more than 15 years ago. Do you find it's just like performing in theater, or is it a whole different muscle? Oh, it's a whole different muscle. TV comes in closer, and this show comes in closer, and especially when we're addressing the camera and stuff, it's like a window into our soul. I love that. That is so fresh. The final product looks effortless, but that seamless choreography took months of sweat and dedication. There's a lot that went into it and so much hard work, especially behind the scenes that nobody ever sees. Yeah. But I think it, it really pays off. What advice do you give them? If your wig falls off, keep dancing. Because what I truly believe audiences love is for things to go wrong and then to watch somebody keep going. With episodes streaming now, the series has already been greenlit for a second season on Disney+. Plus. The Walt Disney Company is the parent company of ABC News. You guys are excited about season two, already lost. So excited. I just got goosebumps, like, and it butterflies in my stomach because I'm like, I'm so ready to go back to Utah. <laughs> At the start of something new.